Writers of informational texts often refer to other texts in their writing. It is important to give credit to the writer and avoid plagiarism, which is the practice of taking someone else's words and passing them off as your own. I want you to look at the excerpt from Rhoda Pease on the board. They teased her because she looked different from them. Their hair was straight and black while hers was golden and curly. They had brown eyes while she had green. Their skin had the glow of copper, but Rhoda Pease had pale skin that burned easily in the sun. When we are referring to a text, which you will be doing often in this writing, we have three choices. We can summarize the section, paraphrase the section, or use direct quotations from the section. A summary is a brief account in your own words of what happened in a section of text or the whole text. We summarize when we want to draw out specific points and omit unnecessary information. Omit means to leave out. I would summarize the excerpt on the board like this. Rotopies was teased because of her different skin color eye color and hair color. A paraphrase is a restatement in your own words of a particular passage of text. Only an occasional word from the original text can be used. We paraphrase to simplify the language used or clarify the material. Summaries are shorter than the material. Paraphrases are usually around the same length. I would paraphrase the passage like this. Rhoda Pease was teased because she wasn't like them. She was blonde, they were black haired. She had green eyes, they had brown eyes. She was pale, they were dark. A quotation is the use of the exact words in the original text. Quotations are often used for credibility or because the language of the author is powerful. Changing the language in any way would detract from the meaning and lose the effect. I could quote the entire excerpt or I could quote part of the excerpt on the board that has great effect. To me, the description of skin color is impactful while the others are very matter of fact. There is an underlying meaning in the description of skin color. One glows while the other burns. I would say Rhoda Pease was teased by the other girls simply because she was different for she had pale skin that burned easily in the sun while their skin had the glow of copper. So I would make sure I would have quotation marks around pale skin that burned easily in the sun and had the glow of copper. I want you to open the document that says referencing text the correct way. At the top we have the definitions of summary, paraphrase, and quotation. just as we have on the on the board. We're going to read the following excerpt from the end of Cinderella. If you're writing an explanation of how the story ends, how would you do so using each of the options above? And you're going to write your line answers on the lines provided. She was taken to the young prince dressed as she was. He thought she was more charming than before and a few days after married her. Cinderella, who was no less good than beautiful, gave her two sisters lodgings in the palace 
and that very same day matched them with two great lords of the court. So how would we summarize that? Remember, summaries are going to be shorter and give just the essence. I want you to go ahead and write your summary on the lines. Now what about paraphrase? Remember, paraphrase uses roughly the same number of words but changes the words. Go ahead and write your paraphrase on the lines. Now with quotation, I wouldn't quote the entire passage. I would do, as I mentioned earlier, and find a very impactful set of words to quote from the passage to write your quotation summary. So go ahead and write your quotation summary explanation on the lines. Now I want you to go back and look at your outline and make any changes necessary to avoid plagiarism. In other words, using someone else's words as your own without giving them credit. It's important to note that the planning and outlining processes that we've completed today revealed the strengths and weaknesses in your thesis statements. Did you end up revising your thesis statement as you went along? You actually worked some magic of your own today. You transformed a humble thesis statement into a full-fledged outline for writing. In upcoming lessons, you will further transform the outline into a draft, and then we'll put the final touches on the essay before presenting it at the ball. <laughs>